Hi, I'm Martin Deister from TSL Products and I'm going to talk to you today about the PAM2 Mark II. TSL's precision audio monitoring family was developed to give modern broadcasters the kind of comprehensive tools they require to cope with increasingly complex broadcast audio workflows. PAM2 Mark II is ideal for use in broadcast critical situations, environments such as master control, ingest, quality control, playout, and also in critical engineering positions in OB trucks. An operator in a master control, for example, may have to monitor uh, loudness measurement, may have to check downmix compatibility of a signal whilst dealing with multi-language delivery. In today's modern broadcasting environment, loudness is increasingly important because governments and legislators are bringing in regulations and rules to monitor the loudness levels within programmes and commercials. Key loudness features on the PAM2 Mark II include the ability to simultaneously measure the short-term loudness value and also the integrated loudness value. And both of those you can see behind me on the external monitoring output screen, which is also a feature of the PAM2 Mark II. Bottom right-hand corner shows those two figures along with critical data. And on the bottom left-hand quartile of the screen, you can also see the loudness histogram, which is capable of displaying loudness history anywhere from two minutes up to 80 minutes. The PAM2 Mark II is one of the first audio monitoring units in the world to feature Dolby's new CAT 1100 card, which over the course of uh, the next year or so will introduce a whole host of new features. One of those is the ability to decode and monitor Dolby Digital Plus, which I can demonstrate now. The signal that I'm using today is an SDI signal with both PCM uh, stereo, surround sound PCM content, and also a number of Dolby signals, which you can see on the right hand bar graphs on the display. So if I use the encoder to select an, an, a Dolby signal simply by scrolling across the screen, the PAM2 Mark II automatically senses a Dolby signal and decodes it. You can see the Dolby metadata information displayed on the screen behind me and also see that the PAM2 Mark II has automatically decoded the audio and shown its component 5.1 parts on the left hand screen and also the original audio signal, the SDI signal, all 16 channels on the right hand screen. Using the SDI signal that I have running into this unit now, which contains a discrete 5.1 signal on pairs 2, 3 and 4, I simply have to press the down mix button twice on the front panel to group those three pairs and to listen to a compliant stereo mix, down mix of them. Giving the operator confidence that he is indeed listening to a stereo down mix of those 5.1 signals. Out of the box, buttons 1 to 5 give you instant access to the inputs. And buttons 9 and 10 give you access to data menus, data displays, loudness information, and also the ability to monitor the incoming video. Commonly used user setups, like down mixing for example, can be saved instantly onto a hotkey. I can now enter text uh, which will appear above the button uh, so that I can instantly see and remember what that button does. Or I can simply save that preset you want your audio monitoring unit to sound good, and the PAM2 Mark II does that. It's got four-way driver system, including two subs and two mid to high drivers, and it sounds great. The USB port on the front panel provides two important features. One is the ability to save configurations, and conversely, to recall configurations. You can also use it to clone the settings of one unit to another. And the second feature of the USB port is the ability to load software updates. Part of TSL's commitment to our customers is to offer free software updates for the life of the product and these can be downloaded from the website and loaded onto your PAM2 Mark II so you can enjoy new features for no cost. If you want to find out more about the PAM2 Mark II then just contact your local reseller, all information is available on our website.